All right, people of God, um, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice, and we will, will be, be glad, glad in it. We welcome you this evening to our uh, monthly um, evening of prayer, mm -hmm. amen, on this wonderful Wednesday of June 15th, 2022. I just want us, I, I, I know that we are now coming in on Facebook, and some of us are on Zoom, some of us on um, um, you, YouTube, but I just want us right now just to put our hands together and begin to clap and to praise the Lord and, and to give the Lord the glory due his Amen. name. It's Amen. just nobody but you and the Lord because nobody else can hear you, but come on, clap those hands, Amen. all ye people, and shout to the Lord with a voice, voice of, of triumph. Yes. If God has been good to anybody in here, Anybody in your houses, in your car, wherever you are, come on, give him the praise. Give the Lord the glory. Do his name. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise, hallelujah, shall continually be in my mouth. And so we're here to bless the name of the Lord. We have some wonderful, wonderful people, um, 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 dear friends of mine that are with us here today. We have Bishop Sherman Gordon, Lady Gigi Gordon, and the Family of Faith Christian Center out of Long Beach, California. Come on, let's praise the Lord for Bishop Sherman Gordon. Gordon, Lady Gigi Gordon, and the Family of Faith Church. Amen. We have come to love Bishop Gordon. Amen. This is about his second, I don't know, second, third time being here with us. Um, he has a powerful word, and we're just excited about what God is going to um, do in and through him and Lady Gordon. But at this time, I'm going to introduce my lady, Lady Jeanette Russell, and she's going to come with our declarations um, for our evening of prayer. So let's give God some praise for Lady Jeanette Russell. Hallelujah. Greetings to you in the name of the Lord. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 5 uh, says, know this, that we are living in perilous times. Men are lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to their parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, slanderers, unrestrained, fierce, despisers, and those who are of those who are good, traitors, reckless, conceit, lovers of pleasure more than they love, uh, more than they are lovers of God. People are afraid to go to the grocery store, watch the movies at a theater, drive cars, walk down the street. Going to the uh, concert is a concern. Even sleeping in their own beds, they're unsure. Children don't want to go to school. Violence is everywhere. We, where can we run? Where can we find hope, safety, and a shelter? Well, the Lord tells us in his word that we can find hope, shelter, and safety in Jesus Christ. Yes. So we declare tonight that during this hour, of prayer, we will find reassurance that our God is near mm -hmm. as we abide in him in the secret places of the most high and allow his word to abide in us. We can ask whatever we wish and it will be done for us as spoken in John 15 and seven. We declare in Jesus' name that the peace that surpasses all understanding is available to us. The yes. Lord is our helper and our keeper. He will lead us down paths of righteousness. And even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, mm -hmm. we will not fear evil. For the Lord is with us and he has promised to keep us in perfect peace yes. if we would keep our minds stayed on him we declare that the steadfast love of god is strong enough to keep and protect us we are the apple of his eye and we will hide in his pavilion and under his wings and as we offer up our prayers and praise to the most high god he will surround us with shouts of deliverance. Yes. Tonight, we will take hold of every word spoken in Psalms 91 and hold on it and hold to it with both hands. Mm -hmm. We know that the Lord is concerned with what is concerning us. And we declare 
and we will believe that we have already received every promise spoken in Jesus name. We are protected on every hand. No weapon formed against us will prosper, prosper. And every tongue that revokes against us will be cut down. There is no mountain that's too big that it won't bow down to the matchless name of Jesus Christ. We speak it, we declare it, we believe it yes. in Jesus' name on Jesus tonight. Name. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, Elder Brian. Come on. Come on. Let the Lord bless you. you. God bless you all. <clears throat> We're reading. Uh, my portion is to, to speak or talk on or pray on El, El Yon, the Lord of heaven and earth. Psalms 91 reads, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, saith the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. His God, oh yes, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nocelent pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shall not be afraid for terror by night nor shall the arrow for the that flieth by day one of the other scriptures that we have this evening Psalms 57 and 2, and it reads, And I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. We go to Genesis chapter 14, verse 22. And Adam said to the king of Solomon, I have lifted up mine hand unto the Lord the most high God, the possessor of heaven and earth. Father God, we come this evening, God, humbly bowing before you and thanking you for all of your mercies for this day. For Lord, you are El Elon, the Lord of heaven and earth. You rule and super rule both in heaven and in earth. You are our God most high, our covenant keeping God. We pray that as we come into the secret place of the most high God, that you would deliver us, O oh God. Come to protect us, O oh God, and let us know that we can trust you. For in this secret place, Lord, is thy presence, O oh God. And in this place that we can come and abide and remain and stay and continue and dwell and reside and wait until you come. And I will not be afraid, nor shall I be in fear. For no matter what terror may try to blow on the outside of your presence, God, we seek your face, God, because you can speak to the winds and the storms and the seas of life, oh God, and they must obey. We cannot get along without you tonight. God, for your, you are a sufficient supplier of all of our needs. Elohim, El Elyon, whatever it is that we need, oh God, we can come here and see you, oh God, and recognize that your grace is presence, oh God. And we can be thankful for the kindness, oh God, that you give to us, for the comfort that you give for us, oh God, for the mercies, oh God, that you give to us, God, the compassion, God, that you bestow on us, God, because you are, hallelujah, the Lord of heaven and earth. We can only come to you with, with such benevolence, oh God, and favor. We come crying out, oh God, and praying tonight that you, God, because of you being the most high God, you can finish out your plan for us, oh God. So most high, we lift up, we lift up, we lift up our hands, oh God, 
unto you, the maker of heaven and earth. And we offer praises, glory and honor and worship unto thy holy name. You are a sovereign God. And we rejoice knowing that our great God has done great and mighty things. Yes. And he will continue to do great and mighty things. And he will do this, oh God, in the future for his people. El Elyon, God Most High, continue giving good gifts, giving great and special things through us, oh God, that the kingdom of God, hallelujah, will be manifest before your people, oh God. Come and be with us, oh God, for you do well in our lives. God, we lift up our hands in praise and glory and honor because you are truly who you say that you are. And we trust you, God, with our very lives tonight. We ask, God, that as we come forth, oh God, into this place, oh God, that you would minister to us, oh God. Give us hope, oh God, for those that seem to have no hope, God. Give us, oh God, the delight in you, oh God, that you would give us the desires of our hearts, oh God. We thank you for being the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We thank you, God, for being that mighty God that we can rely and depend upon, God. Because you are a covenant-keeping God. And we adore you today. And we thank you, God, for each and every individual that will be on this line, God. May we raise our hands, hallelujah, and lift up and glorify and magnify and praise your precious name. For it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our God, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we are so thankful, Father God, that we can come boldly to your throne of grace. And as I prepare to speak the scripture tonight in Psalms 91, I know that we all understand about the secret place, the place that's with you and with God, the place where nobody can touch you, nobody can form a weapon against you. And that's the place we're talking about, the protection and the trust and the peace tonight. Psalms 91. Uh, 5 uh, through 11 says, you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence, let's talk about sickness people, that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lay waste at noonday. A thousand, a thousand may fall at your side, and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes, family of God, only with your eyes. So you look and so you see, receive the, the reward of the wicked. Verse nine says, because you have made, and that decision is ours. We have to make that decision that the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high God, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels oh, charge it's... over you to keep you in all your ways. And that doesn't mean some of your ways. That just doesn't oh. mean Monday and Friday and Wednesday. Oh, it means all your ways all the time because you can never leave the place of the most high God. He is the possessor of heaven and earth and he loves you. Amen. And I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus. that we come boldly to your throne of grace. And as we come, Father God, we will not be ashamed. We will not be a fear. We will not be timid because mm -hmm. we know that the greater one is in us. And Father, yeah. when the greater one's in us, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, he is the Prince of Peace. He yes. is the great I am. He is the one that says, I will never leave you or forsake you. He is the one that said, let me die on the cross. Let me begin that new covenant. He is the one that did, did it for us. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we Amen. will trust him. Yes. We will not look at man. We will not look at the government. We will not look at what the White House is doing, but our eyes will be fixed only on what Jesus is doing. The eyes will be fixed only in dwellings in that secret place 
our eyes will be fixed only on you and you alone because you are the one that's holy. You're the one that says, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. You're the one, Deuteronomy 30, 19 says, choose you this day who you will serve, life or death, blessings or curse. Then he tells us what to choose. And he said, choose life. And today, Father God, I choose life. I thank you, Father God, that we choose life. We will not be deceived. We will not be confused. We will not allow Satan to come and blind our eyes. We will only keep our eyes on you because we know without a shadow of doubt that we dwell in the secret place, that you love us, that you see us as the apple of your eye. And in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, we submit our lives to you. We thank you, Father God, that we can come boldly. We thank you that you love us. In the matchless name of Jesus, the anointed one of Nazareth, amen. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I will be reading Psalms 91, 14 through 16, and it reads, The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. I'm speaking on love of the Father. And I'm going to be praying the scriptures. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O Lord. Father God, we thank you, O Lord, that you've loved us with an everlasting love, Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for adopting us. And we thank you, O Lord, for the many benefits of being children of the Most High. We call, uh, you call us your own, and we call you Abba Father dearly and lovingly. According to Psalm 9114, those who love you, you re rescue them. Lord, we declare our love and our gratitude to you, Lord. We thank you, O Lord, for rescuing us and saving our lives from destruction. When we were sinking, Lord, deep in sin, your love lifted us, Lord. While we were yet sinners, you died for us, Lord. Father God, you lifted us up out of a deep, horrible pit. And you set us up on a foundation, Lord, a firm foundation. When our backs were against the wall, Lord, you made a way out. You delivered us from evil, Lord. Father God, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, for rescuing those who love you who have a heart for you, Lord. Father God, we thank you, O Lord, for your protection. To whom is the arm of the Lord been revealed? Lord, we thank you for rolling up your sleeve and fighting on our behalf, Lord. Father God, we thank you, O Lord, for fighting our battles. Father God, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. Ha <laughs> ha! But Lord, we trust in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we call on that great name. And Father God, when we call on that name, you will answer us. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for never leaving us or forsaking us, Lord, for being in our midst, Lord, through every trial and every tribulation, Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for being with those in the hospital rooms, in prison bars, Lord. Father God, those in a courtroom, Lord, you will never leave us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for your strength and your encouragement, Lord. Father God, your word says, that you honor us, you delight in us, your face shines on us, you smile approvingly at us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, Father God, for your favor. And Father, it's not because of works of righteousness that we have done, but it's only because of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for rewarding us with long life, a life that satisfies us, Lord. 
We thank you, O oh Lord, for preserving our lives. And Lord, our Father, our desire is to live in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Father God, you're a good God, you're a good Father, and we want to be with you, Lord, forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, Sister McCoy, come on now. <laughs> Thank now, you, Lord. You don't have to be on mute. You, you got you got about 10 more seconds. So if you want to get another holler, <laughs> if you want to put another holler, come on. I I, I love when you holler. <laughs> Amen. It gets contagious sometimes because sometimes all you have to do, listen, when we're looking at talking about the secret place of the most high God, and some of us, all we have to do is just think about all of the times when he has been the most high for us, when he has protected us, when he has shielded us, hallelujah, from arrows and from, from, from death and from enemies danger seen and unseen somebody Thank ought to you. just take a second right now with sister mccoy and just praise the lord that he has been he will continue to be the most high god hallelujah so we bless the lord here this evening i'm not going to take up much more time i'm here to introduce our guest amen um, um my friend um um, Bishop Sherman Gordon, Gordon, who is the pastor of Family of Faith Church in Long Beach, California, just moved into a new um, edifice. Amen. God is doing great things in Long Beach, California, in and through um, Bishop Sherman Gordon. Amen. And, and his wife, Lady Gigi Gordon, is going to be with us tonight. Um, um, she's going to be our psalmist. Um, I can remember a few times when um, we, we had the South Pacific um, in Long Beach, and I heard this woman singing, and I'm like, this, this woman can blow. For, for those of you who don't know what blow is, it means she can sing. And y'all gonna find <laughs> out, y'all gonna find out here in just a minute or two. I'm I'm excited that Bishop Gordon um shut his Wednesday service down and they have all connected with us tonight. And so they are watching us via YouTube. They're watching us via um, um, Facebook. So let's praise the Lord for the family of uh, Faith Church who is with us all over California and wherever else they may be. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Gordon, for partnering with us tonight. He is the Metropolitan um, Bishop of the Western Deanery um, for um, Global United Fellowship under our presiding prelate, Bishop Neil C. Ellis. And so I'm excited about our friendship. Um, he, he actually came down for my birthday. I'm all the way from Long Beach to, to celebrate with me. And so I am um, I, I'm thankful to him. And I appreciate our friendship. I appreciate what the Lord is doing in his life. And so right now, I'm going to um, ask his, um, his, his wonderful wife, Lady Gigi Gordon. She's going to come forth, and she is going to bless us in the ministry of music. Let's praise the Lord for Lady Gigi Gordon. Hallelujah. She got on me. You got to unmute yourself, Lady. Lady Gordon, you, you're muted. Here I am. <laughs> All right. I Bless have you. a song in mind, but since, right. can you hear me? Yes. Um, since the theme is in the secret place of the most high. I'm going to sing a different song tonight called When I Get in His Presence. When I get in His presence When I get in His presence Every doubt I face in a moment goes away. When I get in his presence, when I get 
that I love to be. It's a place, oh, it's such a special place my father made just for me. And in this place, I found all I need, for it's the presence of Jesus, oh, it brings security. When I get in his presence, when I get in his presence, every doubt I face in a moment goes away. When I get his presence, when I get his presence, when I get the presence of the Lord, there's a day when you and I will be gone. It's a day, oh, it's such a special day. We will hear all the angels' song, and we'll awaken at last in our new home, and hear the final welcome, my child, well done. hands together and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. praise. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and yes. delivered me from all of my woes. Oh, taste and see yes. that the Lord is good. Blessed are they that trust in the Lord. The young lions do lack and suffer and hunger, but they that seek the Lord, that means if you're in this house tonight, they that seek the Lord. That means if you're in your house tonight, they that seek the Lord, no matter where you are on Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, Instagram, they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. I'm excited to be with my brother, um, Bishop Bert Russell. Thank God for his leadership. Thank God for um, Lady Jeanette. Thank God for Pastor Miller. And we are excited to be coming together one more time. Cali and Arizona, we got that connection. And God is doing some great and some marvelous things. And so we're excited. I'm excited for those that are in the house tonight. Amen. So I wouldn't be speaking to just an empty room. Amen. So praise the Lord. We have those in-house. Amen. Coming to you in your house. Amen. And there is a word from the Lord on tonight. Amen. I want to look at your scripture and I want to lift up just one verse. I'm going to unpack it, but I think this first verse is just loaded. It says, whoever in the NIV dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest. God, I love that word right there. I just want to shout right there with that word. It says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest. Somebody ought to just shout rest in Zoom land. Somebody should shout Zoom wherever you are in Facebook land. We'll rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The New Living Translation puts it this way. 
those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Good God Almighty. King James Version puts it, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then I love the way the Amplified Version puts it. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will remain secure. Oh, God, I love it. Will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty whose power no enemy can withstand. God, y'all better tear up the Zoom world. Y'all better tear up the Zoom place. Look, look, look what it says one more time. He, you and I, that dwells in the shelter of the Most High yes. <clears throat> will remain secure and rest yes. in the shadow of the Almighty, yes. whose power no enemy can withstand. I want to put a tag on this text as we teach and preach just for a few moments. Um, the year of release, the secret place. Yes. The secret place. Lord, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my rock, my strength, my redeemer, we pray forevermore. Amen. Bishop Russell, last weekend, my daughter graduated from the University of California at Santa Cruz. It was an amazing feat. It was a wonderful time being there because um, she was able to finish four years in three years. I, 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 I got to say that one more time. Um, um, th this past weekend, I was up in Santa Cruz celebrating my daughter who, who graduated from UC Santa Cruz. And she was able to finish four years in three years. I, I, I want to pause right there. I don't want that to sit by somebody who's watching that that God is getting ready to empower you that you might be able to accomplish more in less time. God, I, I, I need somebody to just shout and give him some praise right there that says, you are getting ready to accomplish more. You're getting ready to achieve more. You're getting ready to do more. And God is going to empower you that you're going to do it in less time. Um, I, I told my daughter, um, I said, now, we're here for your graduation, but, but if Dad can be honest, I'm here for vacation. Ah. Uh, I said, um, it's your graduation, but, but if I can be real, baby girl, um, this is a period of relaxation for me. Yeah. And so I said, um, your mom, your best friend, and you, um, y'all stay at your place. You stay at your apartment. Um, here's the keys to the rental car. And only call me when you need me. I said, I said, you just, you just relax, you just chill out. Um, and when the bags are packed, I mean, you need me to come load up the car. You need me to take out some trash, and you call me. But, 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 but it's a time of relaxation and vacation for me. What a feeling it was um, to wake up in the middle of the night or early in the morning. What, what pure joy it was to wake up with uh, cascading sound of water surrounded by lush trees, the sun playing peekaboo and birds singing early in the morning. It was pure joy. It was pure bliss. Uh, it was then I understood the lyrics of Psalm 91, either composed or compiled by David. The Psalm was recited in faith during the confrontation of danger with the surety of peace residing. Yes. And this psalm, David composed, compiles a grocery list of reasons which we shall condense into three bags as to why we can be thankful for having a secret place. Okay. He, he offers up a laundry list, but we don't have time to, 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 to put all the items in the individual bags. So let's, let's condense them into three bags and, and find out why we should be thankful for having our secret place. In Psalm 91, verse 1, we read in the NIV, whoever, that, 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 that means you and I, who, 
whoever, that means all those that are on Facebook, who, whoever, that means if you're in Zoom land right now, who, whoever, if you're in this house, if you're in your house, uh, if you're listening in the car, uh, um, whoever dwells, whoever resides, whoever camps out, whoever decides to live, whoever decides to remain in the shelter, the covering, the, the protection, uh, the ark of the most high God. One, 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 one preacher, one speaker tonight said, El Elyon, yes. the, the most high God. Uh, seek a new Jehovah Jireh, uh, uh, Jehovah Rapha. If, if, if you decide to, to camp out, if you decide to remain in, in the shelter of the most high, uh, he will. Here's a promise. Whenever you see the word will, whenever you see the word shall in the Bible, it denotes a promise from the Lord. And so it says, um, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will, that's a promise, um, rest. God, I love that word right there. He says, I'm giving you rest. I, I just want to just put that out there in the virtual land and tell God is getting ready to give somebody some rest. If you can just camp out in his presence, if you can camp out in his care, if you can camp out in his love. It says he, he promised rest in the shadow of the almighty. God, a shadow was so powerful. We, we see a glimpse of it over in the New Testament in Acts chapter 5, where it makes a reference to Peter's shadow. And the Bible says uh, uh, that his shadow uh, would just fall on people and the anointing presence of God would make them whole, would heal them. And I've come today to tell somebody that if you can just get in the shadow of the Lord, if you can just get into his presence, that everything is going to be all right. David says, if you can get to your secret place, you'll discover rest. God, I need somebody just to type rest on the screen. If you can just get to your secret place, you, you, you will discover rest. Uh, the picture conjured is of someone being chased down by something uh, causing them to grow tired and wearisome. Don't, don't miss that. Uh, he, he says, if you get into the presence of the Lord, you, you will find rest. And the picture he, he, he elicits, the picture he conjures up is of someone being chased down by something causing them to grow tired and wearisome. Yet, yet the psalmist concludes, if you can get to your secret place, the presence of God, what's chasing you won't catch you. God, I, I need somebody to shout right there. He says, if you can get to the presence of God, um, um, something is coming after you. Something is hounding you. Something is trying to run you down. Something is trying to run you over. But David says, uh, if you can just get into the presence of the Lord and remain there, if you can just stay in the presence of the Lord, uh, what's chasing you will not catch you, God. I've come to declare and decree to everybody who's under the sound of my voice that there's some things that have been chasing you. There's some things uh, that's been hounding you. But if you can get to the presence of the Lord, it will not catch you. Hallelujah. Want to declare and decree you're getting ready to have rest, God, from what has been coming after you. God, God, you're getting ready to have rest for what's been coming after your joy. You, you're getting ready to have rest for what's been coming after your peace. You, you, you get ready to have a rest for what's been coming after your mind. The enemy wants your mind because if he gets your mind, he has your body. If he gets your mind, he has your entire being. But God told me to tell everybody under the sound of my voice that we'll listen, we'll listen later on, that he's getting ready to give you rest because you made it to the secret place. Yes. You get ready to have a rest for what's been coming after your health. Yes. Yes. Somebody listening, your body's been coming under attack. You've gone to doctor to doctor. You've gone um, from checkup to checkup, and they still can't figure out what's going on. But I'm coming to tell you that if you can get to your secret place and begin to call out on Jehovah Jireh, call out on Jehovah Rapha, call out on Jehovah Nisi, your, your healer, your, your, your peace provider, you're going to have rest. What's been coming after your wealth? 
you are getting ready to have rest. I wish somebody would just shout with me, it won't have me. <laughs> and you just shout on, on, on Facebook, type on your screen, it won't have me. God, and uh, uh, I like you in church and just turn your head to the right and talk to your Zoom neighbor and say, it won't have me, God. Uh, so turn, 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 turn to your left and talk to your other Zoom neighbor and tell them, it won't have me. It's been coming after me. It's trying to rob. It's trying to steal. It's trying to kill my joy, but it will not have me. David Pins, Psalm 91 and 2. Pins in Psalm 91 and 4. And then he writes again in Psalm 91, verses 9 through 11. That in the secret place, there is refuge. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that's why you got to get to your secret place. That's why you got to get it. Hurry and, and, and run to your secret place. That's why you got to hurry up and, and get there and just hang out and relax because there's rest and there's refuge in the secret place. And the Bible says, if you say the Lord is my refuge, I want you to go ahead and just say it right now, wherever you are, say, say the Lord is my refuge. Go ahead and speak it into the atmosphere. Go ahead and declare it. The Lord is my refuge. And make the most high your dwelling. If you decide I'm going to camp out in his face, I'm going to camp out in his presence. I'm not going to let anything uh, rock me from this foundation. I'm not going to let anything push me. I'm not going to let anything uh, pull me from this place. Uh, look what it says in verse 10. No harm will overtake you. Woo. Uh, that's a declaration. That's a word from heaven. Uh, that no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. Wow. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you whew, in all your ways. All your ways. I, I, I love verse 10 B. Can I look at it again? No disaster will come near you. Whew. You speak that over yourself, no disaster. Will come near me. No disaster will come near my tent. No, no disaster will come near my children. No disaster will come near my family. No disaster will come near my home. No disaster. Refuge. <laughs> In other words, what's coming toward you is getting ready to be turned away from you. Mm. Uh, I, God, I, did you hear what I said? I said, what's coming toward you? See, 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 see you're going to have a rest from what's chasing you, but he's about to give you refuge from what's coming toward you. It's getting ready to be turned away from you. David, David in theatrical like manner uses terms and he assigns names to the characters that would threaten to come against you. He gives names to these satanic attacks that would come your way. David, David calls them terror. It's coming your way. If you can get to the secret place and begin to call on his name, terror's going to turn from you. He, he said, the arrow is coming your way, but if you can get to your secret place, the arrow is going to have to turn around. He, he said, pestilence is coming your way, but if you can just get to your secret place and just stretch your hands out to God and, and call his name, the pestilence uh, is going to have to turn away from you. David says, uh, destruction that's coming your way, if you can just get into the presence of God and stay there, uh, that the destruction of us headed your way, uh, it will see the blood over the doorpost, uh, and it's going to have to turn away. In fact, verse 7 says, here's where we can shout, a thousand shall fall at your side. Oh, God. Oh, that's refuge. A thousand shall fall at your side. One more time, I said, I said, Pat White, a thousand shall fall at your side. Uh, Bishop, I think we ought to get a t-shirt made and say, another one bit the dust. 
Uh, I hear God saying everything that's been coming after you is getting ready to fall wayside. Uh, I know it's not Sunday, but I feel something pushing me. I'm coming to tell somebody you ought to open your mouth and just declare another one bit the dust. The enemy was coming after you, but it's getting ready to fall by the wayside. The enemy was coming after your joy, but it's getting ready to fall by the wayside. The enemy was coming after your house, your, your home, but it's getting ready to fall by the wayside. And you ought to declare another one bit the dust that was coming after me. Woo! You're going to be able to just to walk on by it and say it's tried, but it failed. While Psalm 91 does not provide immunity from life's threats, because they will come, they will rise up, it does offer the promise of rest, refuge, and release. Uh, uh, release, but what do you mean, Pastor? What do you mean, Bishop G, when you say release? Um, what may have controlled you shall. There's a promise. There's a promise from God. And if you hear the word will and shall, what, what may have controlled you uh, is getting ready to lose its grip on you. God, I, I thought I have somebody tear up Zoom. I thought I have somebody tear up this place. I thought I have somebody just get up from your seat and begin to walk around your house and moan and declare that some things have been controlling me, uh, but they're losing its control on me, God. Uh, some things have been choking you, uh, but I hear God saying the release uh, is getting ready to come off the stronghold that's been holding you, that's been trying to choke you, and you get ready to walk in victory. Text says in Psalm 91, 14 through 15, and the sister was right when she talked about the love of her father. Because watch this, in these verses, it's been David, it's been Moses who's been doing all the writing, it's been David, it's been Moses who's been doing all the talking. But in verse 15 and verse 14, um, um, God himself uh, begins to talk back. <laughs> if you get to your secret place and you talk to God, He'll talk back to you. If you get to your secret place and you holler out at God, he'll holler back at you. Uh, the text tells us God himself responds to the petitioner's prayer. God, God responds to our prayer. Um, he says, because I love you. Mm, yeah. He says, because he, he, he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue you. Yes. God, I love that. He, he says, I will protect you. For you have acknowledged my name. I wish I had somebody that would just yell Jesus. Jesus. I wish I just had somebody that just yell El El Yon. Uh, I wish I just had somebody to yell seek a new. I just wish I had somebody to yell Jehovah Jireh. I wish I had somebody to yell Yahweh. I wish I had somebody to yell Yah. I wish I just had somebody to uh, call them your rose of sharing, your bright and your morning star, your, your, your alpha and your omega. He says, because uh, you have acknowledged me, uh, he says, I'm going to rescue you. Uh, he says, because you've acknowledged me, I'm going to love on you. Uh, I'm going to protect you. Uh, he says, he, he, he will call on me. Me and, and I will answer him. Yes, yes. You hear what God says? He says, when you call on me from your secret place, yes. I'm going to answer you. Yes. And I love this word, Scripture that says, I will be with you in soul. Yes. <laughs> God, uh, I've got to get up out of here, but I love that part. He says, I will be with you in trouble, suggesting, Christy, uh, that every now and then, try as I might, uh, I might still find myself in trouble. Uh, but even when I'm in trouble, if I call on him, uh, he'll show up. Uh, try as I might, I might try to stay away from some things and avoid some things, but sometimes life happens and God says, uh, but if you can call on me, uh, I will be with you in trouble. Here it is. Uh, I will deliver you. That's release. Uh, I will release you uh, and bring honor to your name. I hear God saying, release from what has been controlling you. God, Pastor Miller, I hear, I hear him saying release. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank from what has been controlling you. Diane, I hear God saying release from what has been 
controlling you. Adon, I hear God saying, release from what has been controlling you. Scott family, I hear God saying, release from what has been controlling you. Kevin, I hear God saying, release from what has been controlling you. Elder Brian Fish, I hear God saying, release from what has been controlling you. Janice Pat, I hear God saying, release Vicky. I hear God saying, release Naomi Tim of Gwendolyn. I hear God saying, release Janice Lisa. I hear God saying, release from whatever has been controlling you, Zama, whatever's been controlling you, God is getting ready to release you from it. Sickness in your body has been controlling you. God says release. Mental illness. It's been coming after your mind coming after your family, coming after your children. I hear God saying release. Release from everything that's been trying to control you because you made it to the secret place. Something happens in the secret place. It doesn't happen anywhere else. It's just you and God in the secret place. Pouring out your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit in the secret place. Uh, I got to get out of here for real, y'all. Stop playing with you. But um, one of my favorite stories um, is the rainmaker, uh, the circle maker based on Mark um, Patterson. And the Bible says, um, the story tells us that Mark Patterson, he, he drew a circle around him because he was in this place where it had not rained for a long time. And so um, he goes out. And he draws a circle around him, and, 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 and as he draws a circle, people are looking at him saying, what, 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 are you, what is he doing? Uh, it has not rained here for a while. And so he, he draws his circle, and then right there in the circle, he begins to dance. Right there in the circle, uh, he, he begins to cry out. Right there in the circle, he begins to pray. Uh, right there in the circle, he begins to praise and say, uh, I know it may not have rained for a while, God. Uh, but it's getting ready to rain. I come to tell somebody it's getting ready uh, to rain. It's getting ready to pour down. What, what has not been is getting ready to be in your life. And so he begins to just shout. He begins to pray. He begins to call out on El Elyon. Uh, and the story is that it begins to send down some drops of rain. It hasn't rained for years. It hasn't rained uh, for a decade. But the rain drops begin. I come to tell somebody there's been some areas in your life uh, that there has been a drought. Uh, but God says if you can get to the sea secret place. Oh, rain is getting ready to come down. Rain, I said rain is coming down. Oh, it was drops and the people were shouting, but he said, no, I haven't gone through what I've gone through for drops of rain. I've gone through what I've gone through because I wanted to just pour it. Somebody needs to know tonight it's getting ready to pour down on you. It's getting ready to, heaven's getting ready to open up oh, and just shower you up oh, with goodness. Shower you with breakthrough. Shower you up oh, with breakthrough. Shower you through with anointing. Shower you up. Oh, Shower, shower down upon you. Then the clouds begin to pour down. The Bible, the story tells us that it poured down so much, the people begin to celebrate him. I've got to honestly admit that when I read this story before, my heart was thought the importance of the circle was that he was saying that whoever gets connected to the circle. As it's rained on me, it can now rain on you. Um, but, but, but he let me know, um, Sherman, that's, that's not what's going on. I said, well, well talk to me, Mark Batterson. He said, um, and, and, and the circle, he, 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 he drew the circle around him so he could shut out the stretch. Mm, uh, uh, uh. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, uh. He, he drew the circle around him uh, so he could form his secret place. God, uh, I wish I had somebody crazy enough on Zoom uh, to draw a circle around you. Uh. And say, this is my secret place. Huh? And I declare huh, that whatever I pray in private, huh, God's going to reward me. I'm out of here, y'all. Huh? i see you next time. Huh? But he's going to reward you publicly. Huh? If you can just stay in your circle a little while huh, and say, I'm not going to be moved. Huh? I'm just going to petition heaven. Huh? I'm going to petition God huh, and cry out to God huh, for what I need right from here. Huh? And my secret place, huh? God says, as you cry, 
cry out from your secret place, as you cry out from your private place, I am getting ready to reward you publicly. Somebody get ready that God is about to do it publicly because you prayed secretly. You pray in secret. You can just get to your secret place. He's going to reward you. He's going to bless you. Because the secret place is a place of rest. God, I pray that somebody has rest tonight. That what's been chasing you, it won't catch you. I, I, I pray you get to the secret place and you have refuge. Yes. And you realize that what's been coming toward you is getting ready to turn from you. God, I love yes. it. And I pray in your secret place to begin to understand and to begin, oh God, to, to realize that what has been controlling you yes. is grip. Is releasing off of you the secret place. The secret place. Father God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your people that understand the importance and the power of prayer. I thank you for like minded ministry. I thank you for like minded fellowship. I thank you for my brother. God, I pray a fresh anointing rest of that whatever he prays in the secret place, yes, God. God, you're going to reveal it publicly. Yes, you're going to do it for the ministry. Yes. Every person connected to us tonight, virtually or, or even visually, yes. God, as we touch and agree, it's going to rest upon them. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. Now unto him uh -huh. who is able to do absolutely anything but fail. Give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Yes. In Jesus' name be praised. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. People of God, we've heard the word. Settled. Amen. We're going to leave here today knowing that we have rest, we have refuge, and we have release. Go in peace in the name of the Lord. We will have communion on our morning manna at 6 30 in the morning. God bless you all. Bless you, Mr. Gordon. Thank you.